This is the Nobia watch, probably the most futuristic looking smartwatch thanks to its unique 4-inch flexible display that wraps around your wrist. Most importantly, the watch costs just about 220 bucks, which makes it a really attractive offering. In my review, I wanted to share the pros and cons of this device so you can decide if this watch is right for you or you should look for another option. Design is really exceptional and futuristic and it's an immediate attention magnet. The watch looks like nothing else on the market, at least if we look at the mainstream segment. We have this beautiful and sharp 4-inch AMOLED screen that wraps around your wrist. It's a great panel overall, but it could be brighter when using it in direct sunlight. I admit, the watch looks massive on my tiny wrist, but it's surprisingly comfortable to wear. Nubia even includes two different sizes of wrist straps, which is a really nice touch by the manufacturer. The watch looks and feels super premium and sturdy. It looks almost like new, even though I've used it for more than one month. Glossy ceramic sides look nice, but they attract fingerprints and smudges quickly. The rest of the body uses aluminum and the band is made of rubber. I found it to be comfortable to wear, even though I didn't exercise much with this watch due to my recent surgery. Now let's talk a little bit more about flexible display and functionality of the watch. First of all, you can choose from plenty of pre-installed watch faces and most of them look quite nice. You can also customize them or upload your favorite picture and use it as a watch face. There's also always on display feature and race to wake works quite seamlessly. Another cool feature, you can simply pinch the screen to turn it off. It might seem a little bit gimmicky, but I actually use it quite often. There are also dynamic animations which look nice to show it to your friends, but they take a toll on battery life. You can navigate through the Nubia Wear OS just like on any other watch. However, since the display is curved so much, you either need to scroll down or roll your wrist to see what's on the top. Not a big deal, but that's the trade-off of having a flexible display. The UI is pretty simple and straightforward, and most importantly, it is fast and fluid. I didn't have a single lag or skipped frame. You can adjust basic settings using a quick settings menu, use a compass, check your schedule, and so on. You can also adjust other settings of the watch like the display, connectivity, and so on. You can also make and receive calls, but this feature only works if you connect the watch to the Bluetooth earphones or, of course, the phone that is paired with the watch. There is a built-in mic, but no loudspeaker for hands-free calling, which is one of the key shortcomings of this watch, so the best way to handle your calls is to connect the watch to your favorite set of buds. Another flaw, you can only receive notifications, but you can reply to them, at least at the time of this review. Nubia's official page shows that you can reply to emails, so hopefully this feature will be added with future software updates. You can also load music to the watch and listen to it via the Bluetooth earphones. However, there is only 4.2 gigs of available storage and sometimes the app does not allow you to add music to the watch. Reconnecting the watch helps, but that's an annoying bug that hopefully will be fixed with future software updates. As for the fitness features, you can only choose between four sports modes. Outdoor walking, running, indoor running, and free workout. This looks like very limited, but not a deal breaker to me as I don't do any fancy workouts. Some of the watches have over 100 exercise modes, which is great, but I always choose a free workout even when I'm lifting weights or doing other exercises anyway, as most important aspect is your heart rate monitoring, which Nubia Watch does quite accurately. It's worth mentioning that the watch has a built-in GPS for outdoor use. Nubia Wear app allows you to see your fitness records and adjust some of the settings of the watch. It's a rather simple app with the basic features compared to other smartwatch companion applications like Samsung Health. Hopefully, Nubia adds more features to the app over time. Battery life really depends on how you use the watch. On average, I could get about 2 or 3 days out of this device. If you use it more intensively with continuous heart rate monitoring and notifications coming all the time, you may need to charge it more often. If you use the watch only in standby mode, it can last you up to 7 days. Charging time is about 1 hour and 20 minutes. Nubia Watch is a unique looking smartwatch that definitely draws some looks thanks to its flexible display and excellent build quality. 
Its functionality may be limited in some ways and there are some bugs in the smartphone app that hopefully will be fixed with future software updates, but for the price of about 220 bucks, it's still a unique offering for those who want to stand out from the crowd, especially if looks are more important than the overall feature set. What do you think about the Nubia watch? Would you buy this watch or would you choose another device? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on social media and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.